In this video, we are told the area and perimeter of a rectangle, and we are asked to find the dimensions of the rectangle. To help us out, let's start with a little picture. As we look at the area of the rectangle being 168 square centimeters, and the perimeter being 52 centimeters. We aren't really told any information about the sides of the rectangle. So let's call the width x, and the length I'll call y. If I wanted to calculate the area of this rectangle, we would multiply the length times the width, x times y, would equal the area, which we're told is 168 centimeters squared. If I wanted to calculate the perimeter of the rectangle to be 52, we'll remember that the opposite sides are still the same, x and y. So we have x plus y plus x plus y, or 2x's and 2y's. 2x plus 2y equals the 52. This gives us two equations with two variables, which we can use to solve. Let's leave the multiplication problem as is, and solve the addition problem for one of the variables. It doesn't matter which variable we solve for, so let's solve for y. Subtract 2x from both sides, working on getting the y alone. 2y equals negative 2x plus 52. And then get y alone by dividing both sides by 2. y is equal to negative x plus 26. And so we can replace the y in the other equation with negative x plus 26. x times negative x plus 26 must equal the 168. Solving then, we'll start by distributing, giving us negative x squared plus 26x equals 168. We need the equation to equal 0, so let's add x squared and subtract 26x, keeping the x squared positive. And we end up with 0 equals x squared minus 26x plus 168. That's going to be pretty difficult to solve by factoring. Not impossible, just difficult. So how about we complete the square? The middle number is even, so completing the square should be easy. Let's subtract 168 from both sides, separating the variables from the exponents. Negative 168 equals x squared minus 26x. To complete the square, we need half the middle term squared. Half of 26 is 13, and 13 squared is 169. So we'll add 169 to both sides which leaves us with 1 on the left side, and on the right side, we have a perfect square, x minus 13. Get rid of the square by taking the square root. Plus or minus 1 is equal to x minus 13. We scroll a bit, as I'm almost out of space. Add 13 to both sides, and x is equal to 13, plus or minus 1. Well, 13 plus 1 is 14, and 13 minus 1 is 12. So x is either 14 or 12. If x is 14, let's plug that in to find y. y is equal to negative 14 plus 26, which means y is equal to 12. That means we have a 14 by 12 rectangle. But what if we had plugged the 12 in? If we had plugged the 12 in, getting this out of the way, we would have y equals negative 12 plus 26, which is equal to 14. That would be a 12 by 14 rectangle. You notice we're talking about the same rectangle either way. So we only really need to list one of them for an answer. We'll say 14 by 12 rectangle. We found that by multiplying the sides to get the area, adding the sides to get the perimeter, solving for one of the variables and plugging in, and solving the resulting equation.